So I made a team for Scarlet and Violet VGC doubles completely made out of monkey Pokemon. And I just want to walk you through the team today and show you one of my test battles that I actually won. And uh, yeah, this is more about the team in itself. So we're going to start off with the Pokemon that I thought was going to be the MVP, and it's a Nightlape. This build is basically based off uh, Wolfie VGC's build of Annihilate he did for his uh, getting to number one in the world. So it's Annihilate with uh, Phantom Force, Rage Fist, Final Gambit, and Drain Punch. Uh, it's got the Choice Scarf on to make sure it's as fast as possible to get damage on. Um, obviously this Choice Scarf locks you into a move. Uh, usually I was running so it was meant to be so I could try out Final Gambit on my Annihilate, but you know, I didn't actually click Final Gambit in any of the test runs I gave. I should do another one where I actually use Final Gambit. Uh, it's got Inner Focus because I don't want it getting flinched at all because I want it to get its moves off always. Uh, so I ran it with max HP, so if I were to use Final Gambit, bunch of damage, max speed, obviously, and the rest of the investment went into my attack, Adamant in Nature, because I don't have any special attacking moves, I don't believe. Uh, steel Terror type, just because Steel is a pretty good defensive type, and because everyone and their mother is running Murkrow getting, and Hydreigon uh, getting a Steel type on there will resist. Most of their strongest moves are obviously Murkrow was one of my biggest issues, and it's a setup Pokemon, but especially for Hydreigon. Yeah, so I thought this was gonna be my MVP, but we'll get to the MVP, I think, towards the end. Uh, up next is Slaking. Uh, obviously, there's one in the game. Slaking is like a hit or miss Pokemon. It hits hard, and it's got a high HP, obviously, but, you know, the Truant isn't the best move to have, the best ability to have. Uh, I ran it with a Ghost type, Terra type, mostly just to cover against any Fighting type Pokemon. I didn't really think about Terra typing it very much, or t at least Terra versus Lustralizing it. That's a hard word. Gave it the Life Orb, so it packs even more of a punch. Play Rough actually came in very handy. Uh, Sucker Punch, also handy, Earthquake, and Fire Blast. Fire, I think this is a, maybe a Sun and Moon inspired uh, set I went with. Um, it seemed to do fairly well. Uh, it really was there to take hits mostly for the rest of the team. But uh, again, it, it's like the only other strong Pokemon I have my team for like dealing damage because they didn't put most of the monkey Pokemon in this game, so I had to put Slaking in. Uh, up next is Oranguru. I'll be honest, I used it once in my tests, and I don't think the set or build even I've got for Oranguru fits my team. I need to play around with it a little bit. So, Mental Herb Oranguru, Inner Focus, uh, Trick Room. I didn't use Trick Room myself, mostly because I invested so much into speed, so it was a bit silly for me to have speed on my Oranguru, but I kind of had this uh, build already pre-thought of, uh, or pre-researched even, uh, so that will probably have to be changed. Psychic, it's my only special attacker I've got, I think, so I had to put a special attacking move on it somewhere. Instruct, because it's a sport Pokemon, and Protect. Probably going to swap out Trick Room maybe with Helping Hand or I think it gets Helping Hand or if it gets Fake Out, probably with Helping Hand. Um, yeah, invested into HP again, uh, also then Split Defense and Special Attack and then invested in Special Defense. So trying to make it last as long as possible, especially as it's going to be playing as supporting Pokemon. Steel type, because Steel type again, only weak to a handful of types and it doesn't really protect against fighting types but you know you've got I'm not gonna be terrestrializing Oranguru all that much I don't believe after that we have to Oranguru's counterpart Persimian uh, fighting type Pokemon pure fighting fighting type terror type to give it that extra 
just boost. Uh, got Defiant on them, um, you know, in case anyone's wanting to intimidate. Uh, close Combat, U-Turn, Knock Off, Gunk Shot. I took Persimian, I think, to one test match, and I think it's the one I'm going to show you, and it actually was very useful, so I think I'll probably take it more. It's got a decent HP, um, really invests a lot into the attack, uh, defense a tiny bit, and speed. Again, this team really relies on being very fast, so I don't know why I ran Trick Room, and it does also mean Trick Room harms me a lot. Uh, but, you know, again, I wasn't really expecting a lot from Persimian. I gave it a Citrus Berry because I think originally I wanted to also give it a Choice Scarf. Again, based off an older uh, single set, I think maybe from, well, probably Sun and Moon. Um, yeah, definitely from Sun and Moon. So, wanted to give it a Choice Scarf, but Choice Scarf was already an Annihilate, and Annihilate was a far more important Pokemon for me. So I gave it a Citrus Berry to give it a little bit more longevity, and I think actually it was very useful to do as such. So, this Pokemon, this one was my MVP, actually. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, Grig, Gaff, Graffi, Graffifi, Graffifi? I don't know how to say its name. Uh, the Toxic Monkey Pokemon. <laughs> I just loved the way this Pokemon looked, and I had to use it. And obviously, Monkey Set, it was the Toxic Monkey Pokemon, and I had to put it in because I ran out of Monkey Pokemon. You've seen the surprise at the end. Well, this is the surprise, because it's my MVP, I think. I think it's such a weird Pokemon, and people aren't really using it. Obviously, I'm playing on Showdown. I've not played it on the actual games. I will find a way to build these when I find some time in my life. Um, so, uh, Poison, normal type. It's a prankster Pokemon, so it is there to do prankster things. Uh, Encore, I think, is such a powerful move. And uh, even, uh, obviously, like watching actual proper players use it. Encore does so much good work. Switcheroo was something I wanted to do that was weird. Kind of forgot that dark types aren't affected by Switcheroo, so, you know, they're not affected by Prankster. But it is useful in other things. I think it's useful in the game I'm gonna show you. Parting Shot, fantastic move. Just, you know, it's so good. And the Poison Jab, just, you know, I can't run four defensive moves. And also just to have one Pokemon with, you know, a, a move that will potentially add status, because I think Fire Blast is the only other move I have. Oh, and also my big off has Fire Punch. Yeah. So, uh, Steel type, Terror type, again, I'm not going to be terrestrializing this one very much, to be honest, but to get rid of its weakness to Psychic, I suppose. Um, yeah, uh, HP investment because it has no HP and I need it to live. Uh, special defense investment as well uh, because psychic types and then a little bit into the attack. And finally, we have uh, Vigoroth with the Eviolite Fire Terror type. I think this is actually based off something that's doing pretty well on Smogon at the moment. I think an RU. Um, so I kind of based it off that. Well, I think the only things I changed a little bit were the stats. Um, so bulk up, fire punch, facade, and slack off. Uh, again, Vigoroth wasn't really one I was going to be taking uh, to battles. It's probably between that and Oranguru, which we definitely wants to be left behind. Um, I'll be completely honest. It's there to hit and hit hard and not hang about, really. And also it was there because there was no other monkey Pokemon. The only other one was Slacking. Not Slacking, um, Slack Off. So I kind of had to put <laughs> Vigoroth in there. So hopefully they bring more monkey Pokemon in a future update, but who knows. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the team. I wasn't expecting anything out of it. Some of the opponents I had had a good laugh seeing all monkeys. Uh, and I'll show you the first match I had with them. Well, the first match that I won in my like four tests. So gonna have to do some tweaking before I make videos of me playing loads of fights. So we're here with the game that I actually won. And as you can see, my opponent didn't bring the most competitive heavy team. Uh, and there were some cool Pokemon here. Tyranitar is obviously one they bought, um, Ursuring. It's an interesting one. 
uh, which actually gave me some trouble. But let's just I'll go through it and I'll pause when I need to. So we go into it. I lead with uh, Grafifi, Grafifi, I don't know, and Persimian. This was the first time I bought Persimian to uh, anything. So it was just to try it out because I was going to stop trying it out after this game. Uh, and Grafifi, Gra someone tell me how to say this name. Grafifi, I think that's it. Uh, there we go. Did so. I did the switcheroo thing. I kind of maybe need to play this in slow because I need to keep up with it. So switcheroo the mimic you to give it a toxic orb. Forgot to say that I ran toxic orb on my Grafifi, uh, and you know I thought if I'm gonna hurt one Pokemon, might as well hurt that. Uh, and also I picked up a Figgy Berry. Uh, Persimian attacks at Cyclozar. I'm very glad I bought Persimian and Lid Persimian. I thought when I was selecting my team, well, they're probably going to bring Cyclazar, because if you put Cyclazar on your team, you're going to bring it because you want to set up Shed Tail for one of your other Pokemon. Very, very lucky that I did as much. So, obviously, special defense drop and defense drop. Uh, and Mimic, you set up a trick room, and the trick room was actually the one thing I was like, please don't set up a trick room, because all of my Pokemon are fast. But the Tox Scorb goes to work. Ursa Ring. I, okay, Ursa Ring came out, and I was like, okay, well, then I've only got Tyranitar or um, Armor Rogue in the back. Tyranitar was probably the one I was more scared of, because it's just a tank, so... The Ursa Ring protects, and then I'm like, oh, I know what they're doing. They're going to do a, a facade Ursa Ring. So I was trying to switch a route and get off whatever I had on them. Uh, you'll see what I actually had on them. And I think I doubled in to the Ursa Ring, so it was kind of a waste of a turn. Yeah, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't a good turn, I'll be honest. I should have realized they were going to play with some shenanigans, and also my Persimian got burnt, so it's kind of useless to me now, uh, at least at this point in time. Toxic hurting the Mimikyu is always a positive. Ursa Ring couldn't protect again, so that's good for me. Uh, hit a parting shot on the Ursa Ring. To be honest, I could have encored the Ursa Ring to make sure it kept on protecting. That might have been a better option. I don't know why I went for parting shot at this point. Maybe spur of the moment. So Annihilate comes out. Annihilate is kind of there to finish things off. Persimian is gone with the facade. That's fine. Mimic you substituting. I'm not really sure why you would do that because you don't have baton pass. Um, obviously if you want to keep your Mimic you around probably to set up another trick room was probably why they did that. But your Mimic is already on a timer. So if it, even if it's your last Pokemon, if it comes to one-on-one, -on -one, there's a good chance you're gonna, I'm going to survive that. But anyway, Annihilate is vibing. He's been switched in. <laughs> Grafiii comes out again. And they terrestrialize into a normal type. Again, they wanted to boost their facade. Here, I finally used Encore. I Encore the Mimikyu. The Mimikyu has to continue to use Substitute. So the Mimikyu is now a useless Pokemon for the next two to three turns. Uh, and Annihilate, uh, I decided, I think I decided to use um, Drain Punch. So I'm locked into Drain Punch right now. You know, I thought it would do something. Clearly, I, I mean, I would have used Phantom Force to break the shield, but it's not going to work like that, is it? Maybe I need to double, yeah. I, should just, well, Phantom Force isn't going to do anything because clearly they can't. They send out Tyranitar because, well, the Mimikyu is useless to them for three turns. And here I'm like, this isn't good for me. I don't like this. Uh, Sandstream goes up, but that's kind of beneficial to me because it hurts their Pokemon. Parting shot at Ursa Ring again, uh, just because. And send out a Rangaroo because I bought, decided to bring a Rangaroo on this one. And a Rangaroo probably wasn't the most useful Pokemon to me right now because it died. It did nothing. 
This is why I'm saying Grafai was the MVP, the hard carry. But I guess, I guess sending it out there was a good way of actually protecting my Grafai. Uh, Drain Punch didn't do as much damage as I had hoped, but it was enough to get rid of Ursa Ring. And then they send out the already hurt Mimikyu. So it's basically two on one, because Mimikyu is just already down and out. So I had to decide. Do I double into the Tyranitar, or do I knock out Mimikyu this turn? What I decided to do was to rationalize into a Steel type, because I knew they were probably going to bite my Annihilate or Crunch or use a Dark type attack on my Annihilate. Or Ghost. Um, so, went into Steel type. They actually protected. So, uh, I tried to switch a Roo. Didn't work. Uh, tried to knock it out. Didn't work. Not a great, not a great move from me. Uh, it's, Drain Punch isn't going to do anything to mimic you anyway because it's a ghost type. So Annihilate has been burned. It's it's useless. It's the end. It's the end of the road because now my Annihilate has just weakened attack and all it's there is to do is to punch that Tyranitar. But thankfully, thankfully, I was like, let me do that again. Drain Punch the Tyranitar again. Knock it down. And then Grafii, toxic pun poison jabs, the Tyranitar, get the poison. Okay, a little bit of luck, I'll be honest, because you're getting that poison, but it's there, it's there to do damage, and it's a prankster Pokemon, so it's only fitting that a status effect will be hitting the Tyranitar, because it's a prankster Pokemon. And now I'm feeling good. I'm like, oh, nice, nice, Stomping Tantrum does a lot of damage, 58%. But I'm glad they targeted my Annihilate. I don't know why they didn't try and hit my Grafai. I, I, Grafai, I, 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 I. Because you probably would have one-shot me because it's still poison type, but I digress. Uh, with that, uh, they set up another Trick Room, which again, I'm like, great, I've lost this. Thankfully, the Mimikyu is on its last legs. I don't know why they do this. I, I, and also, Encoring again, great. It, means even if the Mimikyu somehow survived on Toxic, which it wouldn't have, uh, it's, you know, fine. So they decided Stomping Tantrum my Annihilate again. Again, I feel like that was just a bad move on their part because you would have knocked out my Grafai AI and Annihilate on its own. Actually, no, Drain Punch. Maybe, maybe it was the right move to do. Get rid of the one that's the offensive attack. But fine. <laughs> And our is down, and we're down to my Grafai AI. It's like the Pokemon that I just had to put on because it was the Toxic Monkey is the last one standing for me. And there, Mimikyu is taken out by the Sandstream and the Poison. I'm pretty sure the Toxic at that point would have knocked out Mimikyu regardless. Uh, and the Poison, the Tyranitar, takes it down to 11% health. This now comes down to who is faster. I don't know what their Tyranitar has on them. I, if they had a Healing Berry on them, they would have won. If they had Specs, they... Specs or Band... Band, sorry. Or Scarf, sorry, would have probably won them the match. But... The Poison Jab from Grafai was enough to knock out an 11% Tyranitar. It must have been that tiny bit of investment that we put into Grafai AI's attack that set it over the edge. I was astounded. I had played very poorly in all my other test matches because I was just getting used to the meta. Uh, obviously, I was like pranksterring Dark type Pokemon because I don't play competitive Pokemon enough. I was playing, ra I usually play randoms on Showdown. So, thankfully, Grafai AI carried the monkey team. The monkey team carry from the toxic monkey, the only the second brand new monkey on my team. It's I think it's a great Pokemon. I I'm gonna keep using it. I mean I want to go do some competitive this year, so I might take a Grafai to a competitive tournament or something like a regionals and see how it goes. But yeah, I think 
Monkey Team probably won't go far, I'll be honest. i play it a couple more times. I'll make a video of like three matches with Monkey Team. Don't think it's going to do the best, but you know, it's a bit of fun. It's a Monkey Team.